Alright, welcome back to Minecraft everybody, and today we are going to do some fun stuff. We're going to tame some horses, and, well actually, I already did that. So, we're going to check out some horses, maybe we're going to check out all of them, I only tamed two. Um, and then I realized I probably should probably be recording this. Um, so let's go over here and I'll show you guys the ones I've tamed, they're over here, these two. Um, or I guess... Have I tamed you already? Yes, I've already tamed that one. Um, but this one... Let me, uh... Untie you up. So this guy is fast. Pretty fast. Not like amazingly fast, but pretty decently fast. But... He can't jump for beans. Um... Here's a three block. Doesn't make it. Ever. It's okay. He's fast enough that I might keep him anyway. And then I'll take my saddle. Um, I'm just gonna move that over there. And give me that. This one is not so fast. That's okay. Still pretty decently fast. And clears it. Doesn't clear the four. I'm thinking it might if I can get that. Nope. Even at full power, it doesn't clear the four. That's that. That's what I've been doing. Just right there. I'm gonna get out of here while I still can. Um. Here is the nether. I went and I found that place just by walking and then um, I made a portal to it just so I could I could find it again. And it isn't all that far from where, you know, I live. Like, it's only a couple hundred blocks in the nether. A couple hundred, like, a hundred blocks in the nether or something like that. So, that's not that bad. But, um... I wanted to show you guys where I found the saddle, because um, usually when I record, it's in the morning when my wife is at work, um, and so when she's here, and she's all, oh, I'm, I'm going the wrong way, and she's all, you know, awake and stuff, I'm, I'm talking to her, or, that was loud, or if, um, if she's asleep, well then, I'm just gonna talk, I'm just gonna not talk loud so that she can sleep, you know? I haven't finished making the road up here to it, so right now it's still kind of a pain to get up here. And, ouchie. So now I am in survival and I, I used all like actual in-game stuff to find this. But, I did use kind of a cheaty cheaty thing to find this. Um, and... I'm okay with using it because the game mechanics allow for it. But, um, some people might say it's too cheaty cheaty. I don't know. Um, in fact, I probably a lot of people would say it'd be too cheaty cheaty. Um, but... Oh. I forgot about that. Um, so there, up there, that's where the stronghold is. And, oh, hi, guy. Oh, I have no arrows. Well, that can be fixed pretty quick here. Um, but yeah, anyway. So it's a skeleton spawner, which is really nice. And I just made a water trap back there, and uh, yeah, and it works pretty well. Um, I don't know, I haven't really timed it yet, but I built a whole bunch of these in case I want to expand it ever. Um, I made it down this far because I made a goof, basically, is all. Um, I, 
I uh, counted wrong. And so instead of being 23, like it should be, oh, whoops. Instead of being 23 drop, 23 block drop, like it should have been, it was only like a 19 or 20 block drop or something, uh, which didn't kill or didn't do anything to them. I still had to hit them a ton. Um, so this is what I've got in here right now. Um, I do believe this stone pickaxe actually came from here. Um, I got a new diamond deficiency pickaxe, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys, um, and I, I would show you back in there, but it's kind of a mess. So, basically what happens is you have, or I can show you, I can show you, I can show you. There are tutorials about this everywhere, but I'll show you anyway. Whoa. Get down off of that. Okay. So let me just turn it more or less off for now. So you see how those guys are just flowing in there? And then one by one, they're gonna slowly just poof up, right? What in the world? Where is a zombie? Oh well. Um, but so what happens is way back out there, like eight blocks or something from that point where that water does that, there's a water source line right, that shoots all the water there. And then it's, it used to stop there so that I could just build it all. right? And then that goes and it drops into there. And right there, there's one source block of water that pushes everything that way. And then you've got a whole bunch of signs there that stop the water. right? And then in here, you've got alternating water and signs in just a straight line. And now in mobs, when they hit a water source block, they do the whole jumpy jumpy float swim thingy right and it's just an automatic thing so they go up they hit the sign they breathe they hit the next water block they keep on going up and up and up and up and up forever um which is nice and so they go up and up and up and up forever until they hit a point up there somewhere and then it pushes them over another water block pushes them over and then it just stops and it drops right here. Um, and so, I keep on doing that. Um, I don't know if it's the most efficient way of doing this. Um, in the end, they, they I can't just kill them with just one thing, you know? It usually takes about two hits with my hand or a stake or something, or sometimes three. So instead of doing that, I'll just, you know, I just grab this and I just go like this. I just go to town on them, you know? And eventually I want to get a splash potion of healing or whatever. That'll just take care of it all for me, you know. But it works pretty well. They, um, works pretty well. It's not like amazing, it's not like terrible. Um, so. Oh, whoops, wrong one. I want that one. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna leave these guys alone. And I'm gonna go back and I am going to um, finish doing some horse testing whoa Whew. that was crazy anyway I'm gonna do and finish doing some horse testing and then I am going to bring the horses back and then we're gonna build a stable of some kind together um, so yeah, I will see you in a second. Okay, so we're back here, um, and I think I found the two that are the best, and they happen to be exactly the same color. It's kind of funny. Um, so this guy, he runs at a decent pace, right? He can almost jump three. Not quite. If I get it to hop at the very top, it's still he can't jump three. But he runs really fast, which is nice. And this guy. This guy runs okay. He's faster than a lot of these other guys. And he jumps three just fine. So I'm hoping that by breeding these two together, I would be able to get a good horse, you know? 
So, I'm going to uh, take these through two through the nether. And he's gone. And now I gotta go grab this guy. that drop anywhere over here? I don't know. Maybe I just lost that lead. That'd be kind of sad. Kind of sad. Okay, guys. Now, which one are you? Is the, you're the slow one. Okay. So as long as I take the slow one, you know, I don't have any problems. Because the fast one will keep up just fine. Okay. Now throw you through. throw you through, and I'll go through myself, and now, crazy horses, yeah, I don't really have a good place for these guys right now, like, at all, although I'm nice that I built this place so that I could ride them down here. What are we going to do with these guys? Um, I need more string and more goo. Give me some more string, guys. No! Well, do I not have enough string to make any more leads? No, no, I don't. Crap. Okay, I guess I'm just required to build a stable for them. Okay. That is that is great. Actually, that's kind of that is kind of great. Okay. Um, well, I will be back with you guys in a second. Wrong button. Okay, so we're back and we're thinking about where do we want to put these guys. I brought him out here just to see, you know, what kind of space we have. So now we've got this space here. Cut down that tree if we want to. Um, and we have got this space over here. We could move the chickens. I'm thinking about moving the chickens eventually anyway. Or, we've got this really irritating hill over here. And by hill, I mean like this thing here. It just kind of isn't really complete. So I'm th what I'm thinking of doing is I'm just going to carve into this. And then build the stable into this. So that is what I'm gonna do. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I am just gonna carve this out to the right size. That's uh, well, to what I think will be the right size. And then I will be back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, and I think this is about as big as I want it. Maybe even a little bit bigger than I wanted. I'm not sure. Um, at least right here. I'm not sure. I think I might want to bring it back one just to be in line with this. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this back in line so it's all just, you know, nice and even like. And let's cut this guy out. Ugh, excuse me. That was a burp of a weird kind. Okay, now, um, um, brum, brum, brum. I'm going to use this guy, oh, not like that, not like that, don't do that to me, like this, okay, so, how high up was that, one more? We're going to do the same again over here. And then we're going to do the same again over here. I think it should just be up to the ceiling. Okay. Yep, that's good. And then I'm going to... 
want to... Do I want to tear this whole thing out? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Because I was thinking about doing this. Kind of, you know, like a support beams or whatever. I just noticed that tree right there. That's weird. That's like really weird. Oh well. Okay. So I'm thinking there should be some kind of support beam looking like structure. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this guy out as well. Just because. And then this whole line is going to get replaced by this. Not that it really matters, but because that's the material I decided to go with as a foundational material. Though most people probably won't even see it, you know? Oh well, and since it doesn't really matter in game, I probably should have just not even bothered. Oh. I'm gonna want you over here, guy. I'm doing all kinds of bloopers today. Dunk, dunk, dunk. And then I'm going to want this guy coming across here. So now I'm trying to think of how I want these walls. Um, I've got tons of wood right now, so let's go make a billion, like a billion, um, what are those things called? Um, those things, fence, that's what we need, we need fences. Sometimes my English is questionable. Oh well. It's fun, right? Wow. I only made 40. Dang, Gumby. These fences are expensive. Wow. I don't remember them being that expensive. That's insanity. Okay, I actually really like the way that's looking right now. Although, I did, of course, forget this. I need something here. And I can go like that, just for fun. Maybe I should fill that wall in. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, I mean, this is what I was thinking of doing. Just making this whole entire wall out of these uh, fences. You know? And then also this entire wall. Now we're going to need at least two places for horses. So come here, you. You're the fast guy. So I guess your stable could be right here. That's kind of huge for one horse, right? What the? Where did you come from? You'd best not hit my horse. Okay, good. He's dead. So, anyway, so I'm going to do some finagling around with this and figure out how I want it, and then I will bring you guys back. Okay, so let me show you guys how this is working then. Um, so here's the stable. Not anything really fancy. Let me just put a torch right there for fun. Um, and so I don't have enough strength. I only have three strength. Irritating as heck, right? Um, but so I've set this up so that I walk in. It'll do that. Click on the horse. Come out here. I hit the wire. It triggers a redstone reaction. Opens all of the doors all at the same time. Um, closes them again fast enough so that I don't think the other one will get out when I come, in, come out. Then when I want to go back in, the horse is too wide, so it just hits them all. Hits both of those pressure plates, and I come off. And then whenever I dismount, I always end up in the other horse's pen. I don't get that. That is kind of weird. Um, but I'm thinking about... Um, I don't know if you guys watch Minecraft, but uh, I do. I love it. And there's a guy, Anderzel, um, and he built a horse pen where um, 
in the back, he had some more of these trip wires, that he would hit the trip wire and it would shoot water at him, and it would like knock him off the horse. Um, I might do that, but at the same time, it's just like uh, it seems a little bit unnecessary. So, um, yeah. But that is today's episode. I'm gonna get rid of this because this is dumb. Or is it? I don't know. And that, I might need to take that down as well. But that's supposed to be the foundation, so that's fine, right? Yeah, um, but so that that's the episode today. Hope you guys liked it. Um, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, teach me, you know? That's great. Um, hope you have a good one, and don't break too much.